Bridges is featuring a new exhibit dedicated to fashion in America. Fashioning America, grit to glamour, has everything from dresses worn by first ladies to iconic moments that defined a generation. Five News reporter Rachel Williams gives us a closer look at how American fashion continues to make an impact around the world. The curator of this exhibit says it's time to rewrite fashion in an inclusive way. The exhibit is doing this by bringing in designers from all walks of life to offer more diverse perspectives and share their untold stories. That includes under-recognized black and indigenous designers that have largely been left out of the American fashion story. It's often somewhat difficult to actually incorporate because 19th century it's really hard to find somebody who's considered an indigenous designer in that era because it was a century of persecution. Um, but moving into the 20th century you see that indigenous designers are finally you know, having a voice. Fashioning America is expanding representation by showing the work of contemporary artists and sharing their impact on culture throughout the decades. Um, you know, contemporary designers make up a big part of the exhibition, and there's a section called Refashioning America, um, which is all contemporary designers, and they are really thinking about clothing as communicating issues related to social justice, to sustainability, um, to rewriting black history, for example. And I think that, that those stories are hugely important. At Wednesday's symposium, sustainable innovation and inclusive design were highlighted, amplifying the voices of those who are often left out of fashion narratives. It's important to me that what I do is inclusive, that it does celebrate diversity, not just in, you know, the shade of your skin, but also your body type and your age. One of the most well-known fashion designers spoke at the symposium about how the future of fashion involves inclusivity and metaverse. I want to be able to sell a lot of clothes to a lot of people and make a difference in people's lives. With our adaptive collection, we design clothes for people with special needs, with leg braces, people who find it difficult to button buttons or get dressed in the morning because of their disability. If you missed the symposium, it'll be archived on the Crystal Bridges website, and the exhibit is open until January 30th. In Bentonville, covering news where you live, Rachel Williams, 5 News.